About seven years ago, I decided to realize my dream of building my own 3D printable rat rod radio control car from scratch. And I'd never done anything like that before, but I figured, what the heck, can't be too hard. So I did it, and I posted it on Instructables. I released the files for free on my mini factory and on Thingiverse, and let it into the wild on the internet. It was a half-baked car at the time, as far as I'm concerned, but people fell in love with it, and I am so stoked. There have been so many awesome builds over the years that have taken it beyond anything I could even imagine. Beginning with, of course, Joshua Dutton from RC Everyday, who made the amazing old number two, and that really kickstarted things. After then, there have been more and more innovative, crazy, wild, some realistic, some cartoonish, every one of them awesome, and I'd like to share one of the, some of those with you today. I love the wooden bed in this one, as well as the colouring, which is really realistic, and then this kind of wild engine with that exhaust. The side profile of this build is also really strong. Another build by the same maker, and this time with dualies on the back, and the same engine in a different configuration with a different exhaust. The solution for that front steering servo is also really neat. This is one of the older builds, but also one of my favorites. I absolutely love that it looks like a beast of a machine that gets used, abused, and somehow still manages to have a kind of realistic look. That exo cage is also genius. Somehow it accentuates the lines while still being super practical. It's just a great build. I dig it. As you can see, Paul also clearly won a competition with it, which I think is rad. The thing that stands out to me about this build is that it is on 3D printed frame rails, as well as using a V8 engine designed for the SEX10, which the builder found on Thingiverse. Bastion has built a number of these, but the thing that stands out every time to me is the perfection in the finishing details of the paintwork and all of the accessories. It's just fantastic, and it has such a unique style. Making use of some massive rear tires and a bunch of accessories and pieces from Thingiverse by the looks of it, as well as some non-printed parts like the rear license plate, make for a really cool looking complete build. I like it. Another nice engine here, but to me it's actually the paintwork and that rust which just looks super realistic, as well as the uh, interesting front suspension setup that I really dig on this build. The cartoonish proportions and this uh, bold color choice on the body really give it a kind of a Hot Wheels vibe, and it looks like a capable crawler too. Unfortunately, another one of those builds that I never really found out if it was finally finished at the end or not, but I love the proportions here, just showing the fact that you can do something completely different with the cab. The stretched wheelbase and the pickup bed and that interesting front suspension is all pretty sweet. Without a doubt, this build is one of the most accurate to my original Instructable. Uh, the only difference, in fact, is that it actually uses my own 3D printed rear axle, which I didn't do. Um, instead of a store-bought one. It's really cool. Another capable looking off-roader here. My favorite feature though is the way that the pinstripe carries through to the grill and that checkerboard roof. Tim asked me for a panel van version and I was happy to oblige, but I was not expecting such an awesome build to come out of it. Just check that real metal on the roof and uh, the frames and that detailed engine with the supercharger, this thing is the business. The panel van has a friend in the form of this wicked 6x6. Six six. Look at this thing, it's clearly won competitions as well, which I think is amazing. It's even got hacksaw blades as a grill by the looks of things. Fantastic. As much as I love the big meaty white wall tires, I think my favorite part is the hood. You don't see a lot of closed hoods on these builds. 
except of course on this particular one right afterwards, which also has a closed hood and has clearly been used in rock rolling competitions. And now for an old favorite. I think this was the first buggy based build that I saw and Tommy did a great job of it. Somehow it looks realistic whilst being on a Tamiya DTO3 chassis and I think this was one that Tommy built for a build off and won that build off as well. I think there's more than one build in this series but the details are good. The rust effects and paintwork are just absolutely next level along with the photography. And you can go along and Google him and check out his in Instagram and see a ton of awesome photography of different scale models. It's really worth a look. Never underestimate a good nighttime shot, especially when you've got sweet headlights. And that uh, red door on the side definitely is a nice accent. I can't tell you much about this build except that I want to drive it. Look at that thing. <laughs> Those wheels are mental. I love it. So that's it. If you haven't seen your build, it's probably because I haven't seen your build. So make sure that you tag me and stuff. I'm on Awesome Designs on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all the places. And I genuinely love seeing these things. And thank you to everyone who has shared their designs and who has added their creativity to that little foundation that I made. It's just, it's been an awesome journey. And I'm keen to maybe do another one of these in the future. It's been great. And that's me, Jason out.